Well, Crash is in the ring, and here's a newcomer to the World Wrestling Federation. It's Loki. Defends the gold against Gangrel. We'll see what this matchup will hold for Crash. Well, it's not a very good week for Crash, because he got put in charge of the APA office and uh, really felt the wrath of TNA, who are on a rampage lately. First, a low-down sneak attack against the Acolytes at No Mercy. Yeah, we saw what happened to both Bradshaw and Farouk at No Mercy being at that one. We, we saw DNA going to the APA offices. Bradshaw got that filing cabinet thrown over on top of him, taking an attack uh, on the knee of Farouk as well. Yeah, the uh, damage, well, right to the knee goes low-key, a crash. Oh, oh Follows up with a hard oh. kick right to the sternum. You gotta imagine how hard it is. Oh, man! How hard it must be to take out the acolytes and TNA. Oh, here we go for a pin. Two count only. It was opportunistic for TNA to take out the acolytes, but they did it. It took a sneak attack. But indeed, Justin Albert got the job done. So Crash was put in charge of the APA offices. Low key lights up Crash at the corner, and TNA decided to pick on the little guy. But a spirited fight came up just a little short for Crash Thursday on SmackDown. Why do you have to say a little short? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize I was making a, you know, a small yeah. joke there. Obviously, you were. Nothing. Well, Crash is, uh, is supposed to be looking after the APA offices, and TNA is, is obviously taking over. Chris having a really good time with that one. Well, I can't wait to see Trish and Lita hook it up again. Of course, there will be six-person intergender tag action on Heat Sunday night. You will see TNA and Trish against the Hardy Boys and Lita. A little later on, we'll talk all about how the Hardy Boys once again became tag team champions. An entirely strange situation. Man. With Los Conquistadors. Yeah, obviously Los Conquistadors weren't Los Conquistadors. Or maybe they were. Oh, you don't know, man. I mean, the Hardys coming out with some kind of patch oh. plan. Thanks to Commissioner Mick Foley coming back with the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship. Well, we'll explain it later on. We have to go in depth and uh, show you how the Hardys are once again on top of things here as far as the tag team situation is concerned. Crash tries to quicken the pace. He's had a hard time adjusting to the unique style of low key. Crash has found himself grounded for the majority of this match. And of course, we know that this Monday on Raw, it is going to be wild. It is going to be out of control. Perhaps the most physical match ever in the history of Raw. This Monday on Raw, one-on-one, -on -one, inside a steel cage. It's going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin against Rikishi. It's one way to get to each other. Nobody else can get in. Nobody else can get out. Rikishi and Stone Cold Steve Austin have a chance to tear at each other. And who could blame Stone Cold Steve Austin for really wanting revenge? Not just for everything that happened leading up to No Mercy, being run over by a car 10 months ago, but for everything that happened in the following week, including Thursday night on SmackDown, in which Rikishi provoked the rattlesnake. Oh, up and over the top goes both T. And a mysterious assailant, bloody Stone Cold, clobbered him as Austin was making his way out of his dressing room towards the ring. He was going to take care of Rikishi right there. Nobody held for the moonsault. And now Crash. Going upstairs for the first time. Oh. Face first goes low key. Hook him up tight. Three counters. Entertainment to go to Wall Street. WWF stock moving to the New York Stock Exchange.